Uh, uh, whatever you want, you can also put it down. Your turn. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, my mom was filming this thing, so, <laughs> so yeah. All right, my name is Simon, uh, and I am gonna talk about this thing, the time save, my time stable visualization. I I don't know if this is kind of a cool title, but <laughs> anyway, anyway, uh, this is beautiful multiplication tables coded in processing. So it and probably see the thing already right there. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Uh, okay. So, uh, the, this, this, so basically, it's a poster. Uh, well, as you can see, it's called Time Tables Visualization. Uh, it's got the time tables uh, 0 to 200. Well, actually 199, because 200 actually looks the same as zero. I'm gonna come back to that later. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Uh, so it has some text there, uh, also written. That is basically what I'm gonna explain. Spoiler, but anyway. Uh, so it also uh, has kind of a sketch of uh, the code. So I've implemented the this algorithm in uh, a couple of ways. Uh, uh, I uh, made it first just as an animation, which is quite common. Then I turned it into a poster, which you see over there. And then um, you uh, well, <laughs> I turned it into a logo for my upcoming <laughs> company. Okay. Okay. It's a circle. Anyways, uh, uh, now the the actual thing had two hundred points, but um, uh, uh, but actually it just had. Uh, and I'm gonna for simplicity first uh, explain the idea with uh, twelve points to make it easier. Okay, so we label them from 0 to 11, or actually in this case 0 to 199, uh, and then we label them again. We label them, uh, we re label them. This is actually just for simplicity, but anyway. So we re label them from 12 uh, to 23, and then again, and so on. So, yeah. Now, wait, <laughs> sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, zero, we'll, we'll first do two times table. So zero times two, that's zero. So uh, zero times two is zero. So we don't do anything. If you get the same answer, then you don't do anything. Okay, one times two is two. So we connect one to two. Two times two is four. So we connect two to four. Three times two is six. So we connect uh, three to six. And, uh, okay, four times two is eight. Five times two is 10. Six times two is, or is it 12? 12 is over there, it's where zero is, so then you just go like this. Um, and and uh, you carry on, and then you get this, this pattern here. Let's look up that same thing with 200 points. Let me also see the curve now. This is a this is called a cardioid. It's uh, it appears in all sorts of things. It's kind of a, the heart shape of mathematics. And you see other curves. You see like for three you have two pedals, for four you have three pedals, and so on. And then uh, but then the pedals actually go away. As you can see, uh, on the second row, you don't really see the pedals anymore. So that's quite interesting. So the code. I'm gonna uh, exit. Hang on. I'm gonna open my code. Over here, it opened. Okay, so over there. So uh, the setup, in the setup function, I basically have, uh, I think this may be oversized. Uh, but uh, uh, basically, it's a thousand pixel by thousand pixel. I'm gonna let me show you why in a second. Translate function. We'll come back to that later. Ah, here. So basically, there's a count of that starts at zero, and then you uh, 
uh, this just this just grid things, and then basically, if the count is zero, then you do this. Uh, you take a time symbol with that. Two hundred. Otherwise, you actually use the count. That's like that's quite. It's cool. it, it may not be obvious that I did that. I'm gonna explain that later. Text. Uh, is, and so the the text is just the uh, labels. And it's time stable. Alright, all right. so mouse press this is just for saving the files. Uh, and mouse uh, and the time stable function. That's quite uh, that's quite interesting. So I'm gonna have to come back to the the thing for this. Wait. Huh. I don't have the present thing. <laughs> Trying to connect. Just, just do it this way. Uh, uh, do you know what? Let's just. I'll just. I just. I'll just. Uh, yeah. Use keynotes. <laughs> okay. So this is again uh, our thing. Now, it doesn't actually connect the points. The 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 program doesn't even know about the points. So actually, it goes like this. It actually. A horizontal line. Let's say this is the point we're considering at the moment. Uh, now, um, okay, hang on. Uh, hang on. Whoops, uh, sorry. I just wanted to go back to the code here. Hang on. Stop, stop, Miski. <laughs> Miski. So that that's kind of um, 
unfortunate. So I just actually just put like a little if statement in my uh, code. I don't have the, the code available anymore. If I like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> zoom out, <laughs> how can I zoom out? Escape? I yeah. don't really have an escape button. Oh, it's over there, okay. <laughs> um, uh, so over there, you see this, this I, I have a, like a small hack there. <laughs> so like if the count is zero, just do 200, it looks the same. Uh, otherwise, you actually use the count. Uh, let me go back to keynote. So, how I made the poster. So, uh, I first actually was about to write the whole poster. Well, except for the text. Uh, with, with code. But actually, no. Because it's actually too large for processing. It's cool. For some reason, processing has a limit to uh, 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 of how large you can make a window. That limit is apparently screen size. So if you if you have a window larger than screen size, it will just make it screen size. So that <laughs> so uh, and, and so instead, I go to one thousand pixel by one thousand pixel pieces, and, I, and there were eight of them. If you if you split it that way, and then I just stuck them together in Photoshop. And the, and, and, yeah, that's, and that is, uh, and the text is also just, um, uh, after that.